And in order to have a practical example, I have a, uh, a dummy database which contains a customer table. As you can see here, it only holds gender, a postal code, country code, country name, and a birth date. It can also be blank that it, now it holds these values. Um, if I go to my Python script, imports, uh, here I have that same sample data, uh, table, including the three records that we're going to use. And you can see in here also that I'm going to fill in Turkey. And Turkey was a, the old or the previous name of the country. Today it's, it's known as Republic of Turkey with an I, so that's different. And then also the birth date will become a birth year towards the API, which is more anonymous. But you're still getting returned, of course, a generated birth date and also an age group and an age generation, as we've seen before. Now, let me just uh, go back to the script, connect to your database, select dummy data in this case. Birth date will become a birth year. So we're going to uh, remove the suffix, or we're going to remove the month and the date. Uh, we're going to post it and use the data towards the API. So this is actually identical to the one we saw before. Minimum distance, maximum distance. And then what it does is that based on the return response, it will update the data inside that sample table. So let me just run this one. Um, let's see, interactive, run the file. And you can see here, this is a post, this is a return or updated statement. And now if I go back to the database, click on refresh, and as you can see here that Turkey has become Turkey A, and including, of course, latitude, longitude, telephone numbers, and also the birthdays. Birth dates are now changed, so it seems to be all right. So keep in mind, Mace Isabel is met. I'm going to run it another time, clear this one. Right click, run the file. Yeah, here we go. So Mace Isabel is met. And now everything's already shuffled again. So this is how it works. Uh, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, I think the full script, the link towards it is uh, attached to the descriptions. You can download it here. So contact me if you want an API key. It's pretty straightforward as you see. And you can use it to anonymize your data inside your database. Well, have a nice day. Bye bye.